Hey guys, welcome to a new series on my channel that I'd like to call Story Time. It's where I tell random stories of my life, and yeah, that's basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. I will answer them eventually, probably in like a few days. So today, I'm going to be telling the story about how bunting is my worst enemy. As you know, or you probably don't know, but I play in a and I I play in a rec league baseball or I play rec league baseball. Um, I'm I was never really that good, like this year as a as an offensive player. Like I had a streak where I probably hit like three hundred. That that was, but probably overall this year I hit around like one fifty, one seventy five, something like that. So, basically, I was in a really cold streak. I didn't had a hit in like five games and so the coach told me one way he likes to he likes to get rid of his slumps is bunting just so just so um he can get he can just make contact with the ball get used to hitting the ball again so he he gave me the idea he he did this twice in that game basically he said for the first pitch bunt and then the second pitch swing away so the first time I tried bunting, I came somewhat close, but not close enough where I was like, I, I can do this. So I swung away. I hit it into center field. He misplayed it, and I got a and I got on base with a single. The second time is where tragedy struck. This is now that I'm seeing this, this is probably gonna be a short video. <laughs> so basically, he told me same plan as last time, and I was like, sure, why not? And Basically, what happened was, I bunt, I square up to bunt the first time, and I like barely miss it, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm really close to making contact. I can, I bet I can do that again. Hit it fair. Hopefully, get on base. I made contact, wasn't in the right place, and yeah. Next pitch. I score up to bunt, or he pitches it. My coach is expecting me to swing away. I score up to bunt again. And what happened is, is the ball, so basically this is the bat. I'm holding it like like this when I'm bunting. So if this is the bat, this is the ball. It went, I'm trying to think of a, yeah. So it went, so it kind of hit and then went up. So when it hit and then goes up, my face is somehow right over the where it hit and it goes and then just hits me straight in the nose. Yeah. I was probably lying on the ground just crying for probably a good five minutes. I didn't know this at the time, but I just fractured my nose. Basically, what happened was it hit me in the face. I dropped down to the ground. There's a there's a ton of blood. Every, there's, like, blood all over my batting gloves. My coach comes over. He's like... Can I just see it? I'm just, I'm just like covering my face like this, and I just go. There's so much blood, and and I, I literally said that to him, and it's just, it was a moment that I somehow remember greatly when it happened. I wish I wouldn't remember it, but I remember it greatly. So basically, I basically he gets me ice packs. I I just try to like get my nose to stop bleeding for a second. Um. Yeah, basically, after about, like, ten minutes, I just decide, I, I mean, this is the final inning. I want to go out with a with a bang. I want to finish this at bat. I know I'm down 0-2. I know, I know I'm down 0-2, but wouldn't it be cool if I just finished the at bat, got, like, on base or something, and then got to maybe even score? In my mind, I'm like... If I hit a home run here, I'm gonna be like a I'm gonna be a legend in this city. Yeah, or in, it it's a small town, Monroe, but it's a small town. So basically, basically what happened is, I get up, the first pitch he throws me is like just a is just a lob. It it's meant for me to just swing away and hopefully hit something good. The problem is the ball, he threw it and it by the time it curved up, it was probably a good five feet outside like five feet higher than than it was and that was ball one so I took it next pitch I think I fouled off 
It, it's like a, I just fouled it off to like the right or something. They made a joke that I was trying to break that I was trying to hit them in the face. I wasn't. Um, base after that I hold on. I'm trying to remember. I think after that, he threw the ball. I made contact. It was grounded a second. I probably ran harder than I ever, than I than I've ran in like five years, trying to get to first. I I didn't beat it out though. I I grounded out, but so the rest of the game I was just sitting there with an ice pack on my nose, and just and basically that's how I got the nickname on my team, Man of Steel, which. I, which is a fantastic nickname. I'm very glad I got that nickname. And, yeah. Somehow, I went on to get hit, like, ten more times that year. Like, I don't know if I just can't move out of the way fast enough, but to be fair, I probably moved out of, out of the way of, like, 15 of them. So, I don't, I don't know what it is, but who knows. So that brings us to the second part of the story, and that's a bit more of a recent part of the story. This actually happened two days ago. So this happened on Saturday when I'm recording this. This is Monday when it comes out. This is Tuesday, so it's really three days ago when this comes out. So basically, what happens is... What happens is... I, I'm playing first base, and my coach is the first base coach because we just had... It was just a scrimmage game between us and like a lower league team. It was somehow very a very close game at the end. We we won by like a run somehow. So basically what happens is the bases are loaded. I'm the last hitter of the inning because because basically what happens is once you hit through the entire order, that's it. That that's the inning right there. So basically, I don't know why he So I'm at first. Okay. We're we're just gonna restart. I'm at first base. This is probably a few innings before the, before I tried bunting, and my coach is the first base coach, and the coach's son is squaring up to bunt. I, and I just say at first I remember when I tried to bunt, just because my coach knows what happens. We we both got a laugh out of it. And and then I made a joke that like I'm never gonna try and bunt again unless I get told to. And the coach said, "Well, you also never said you'd never strike out again. You struck out, uh, you struck out multiple times. I struck out. I struck out like three times. It's not like a regular. Once I came back from, like after surgery on my nose, I was I made a ton of contact. I was great at making contact. If I was just a little faster, I would probably be hitting like around five hundred. Or probably not 500 just because I had such a bad start to the season. I'd probably be hitting like 450, something like that. Basically, what happened was, I was, so basically we we had a we had a bit of a laugh after that, and I and I I played my inning. I I did fine. So what happens is bases are loaded. I'm the final hitter of the inning because you have once you hit through the roster, that's that's it for your half inning or three outs. So basically what happens is is he tells he gives me the sign to bunt knowing that I hate bunting. <sighs> basically what happens first pitch is the first pitch is way outside and I try to hit it. It was a dumb idea cuz it was way outside. Why would I I think I forgot that I could pull back the bunt. I I I don't think I remember that at that point. So basically, wow, this I'm just looking at the time right now. It, this is actually way longer than a video than I thought. Okay, back to the story. Basically, he doesn't give me the sign, and apparently he said swing away. I did not hear him sing, say sw swing away, and I also didn't know that if he doesn't give you the sign the second time, it means just swing away. So obviously he doesn't have me bunt much because I'm not fast, and two, he knows what happened the last time I bunted. So basically... I score. I score up the bunt again. The pitcher. The pitcher is just completely wild. He throws one at my face. I just like try and duck back for cover, and it, the ball hits me. This is why I have like an injured. Like I have a weird little cut right here. It hit me right here. My ears were. I'm thankful that I didn't have like an injury beside my, besides like, besides just like, 
the the fallback after hitting getting hit by a baseball in the jaw, but still, my after that, my ears were just like hurting. Um, I couldn't eat for probably a few hours after that. I mean, it hurt. It, I I probably put an ice pack on it for like an hour. And yeah, basically, the team held like a little lunch lunch thing after. I grabbed my food and I just left because I had a feeling that because I tried to open my mouth a few times and it and it didn't it wasn't comfortable so I'm not gonna be making a big show at this thing about like me not being able to eat anything so that's just embarrassing so at home I decided screw it I'm gonna try and eat something I eat my hot dog and I can't I can't even chew like once like, once I put my teeth together, my ear, this ear right here, it's still, I don't think it's fully recovered. Maybe it has. It hasn't hurt yet today. Basically, what happened was, one, basically, I'm sorry I'm losing my voice, or I'm losing my words, guys, but still. Basically, what happened was, my ears just hurt so bad that I could not, I could not just eat at all. And it took me a few hours to get over that. And that's why bunting is my worst enemy. So far, I've bunted three times. I've never made fair contact with it. Or three at-bats, I've tried to lay down a bunt. I've technically squared up to bunt four times. So, three out of the four times, I did not... Or no, five times, I squared up to bunt. Three out of... Four out of the five times I did not make contact at all. The time where I did make contact, it hit me right in the nose. And the other time, it hit me in the face. That's why bunting is my worst enemy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a video you guys want me to make, post it down in the comments below. Because I know if you guys want to want to watch it, I want to make it. So, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.